we are back with another feature series and in this video we are going to discuss some features which were included in return refund and exchange for WooCommerce plugin. So basically in this video we are going to discuss some newly features which were added in this plugin. So if you want to get this plugin we have mentioned the link in the description content so you can check and get the plugin from the video's description. And if you want to watch the complete video on refund exchange and cancel functionality so we have also mentioned the links in the description content or you can click on this i button to watch the free version video of this plugin. So let's start with the video. So firstly let's start uh, with like we have made the compatibility with WooCommerce sequential order numbers by Skyverse and also WooCommerce sequential, sequential order by WebToffee. Like I have installed the free version of this plugin that is sequential, uh, sequential order numbers for WooCommerce and we have made this plugin compatible with our plugin. So basically let us go to this setting section and with this plugin the admin can easily decide the custom order number format and here he can decide the prefix like let me decide I have decided WPS and let me click on save changes. So basically we have made this compatibility uh, for the guest users uh, like whenever any uh, user has placed the order and if uh, the user is a guest user and if he wants to uh, place a refund request or exchange request or cancel request custom sequential order that is decided from here so that will be generated so let me show you how this will work so let us place any order so as you can see that the order number the custom sequential order number has been created and the prefix that we have decided wps1 so that is showing here and let us go to order sections as you can see that uh, the rest of the orders you can see that it is based on the uh, like uh, sequentially as you can see that 7096-7097 and this is like the custom order number that is created uh, because we have made some of the changes and we have installed the plugin that is a WooCommerce sequential order plugin by WebToffee. So let me explain you one more thing. We are on the refund and exchange request form and as we have made the plugin compatible with WooCommerce sequential order by WebToffee, so that means if the guest user has uh, like that custom ID that we have, uh, that we uh, that I have shown you, like this is the custom ID, so custom order number or custom order ID. So let's paste it here and let's copy this email. And here let me paste it. And here the uh, here the customer can easily here the guest user can easily select the request type so I have selected refund request so let me click on submit so here as you can see that automatically the products refund request form has appeared so this is how this functionality of sequential order by web toffee works and this is how the compatibility works by which the guest user can easily easily enter the order ID and mention the email address and select the type of request which he wants to raise like exchange can exchange or refund and here he can select the product that he wants to uh, select like let's suppose if he has selected like this so he can easily select the amount and here he can select the refund request subject and here he can attach the files and here he can select the submit request so this is how this functionality works now let us again go back to the backend settings one more functionality is there like uh, we have uh, made some ui improvement that means form table is responsive uh, is re responsive in the mobile view and here let me show you how this will look in uh, mobile view uh, like let's suppose i have selected like this uh, we have made uh, the ui improvements so here let us select any other phone so as you can see that no issues are coming while scrolling or no uh, text is uh, like hiding or misplaced so as you can see that uh, it, here as you can see that the UI is mobile responsive so this is how we have made the changes uh, to make the UI look more better like let's suppose if the admin wants to uh, if the customer wants to cancel the order and he wants to refund amount within the uh, with uh, and he wants to refund the amount in the wallet so let us again go back to the my account section so here as you can see that uh, we are on the my account section and here in this wallet I have dollar 24.65 so now let us place any order and then we will cancel that particular order so I have placed the order and this is the order number and this is the email so let us quickly go to the my account and check the orders so here this was the order that I have placed just now and 
here let us uh, click on the option of cancel order so let me click on this and here let me click on cancel so the order has been cancelled now let us go to wallet so here as you can see that the amount has been transferred directly into the wallet as soon as the cancel uh, the customer has cancelled the order so this is how uh, this functionality works like if the customer has cancelled so the refund amount will be directly transferred into their wallet so let me click on view transactions so here as you can see that uh, the refund of dollar dollar uh, 95 has been transferred into the wallet so this is how this functionality of refund amount works uh, when the customer has cancelled the order now let me show you one more thing like how you can set the maximum number of days for refund and exchange product wise so let me let me go to the backend settings and here basically this is the rma policies tab and here you can set various rules for uh, here you can set the various rules for refund exchange and cancel so here you can also remove this like let's suppose i have removed this all the rules so i have uh, removed all the rules and let me click on add more here i have selected like number of maximum number of days or i have selected the order status is equal to i have selected processing on hold and pending payment and i have also selected one more rule i have selected maximum uh, days is less than 5 so this functionality or policy will work on all the, your products but if you want to set the maximum number of days for refund and exchange product wise then you need to go to product section and here you can click on all products so we are on the product section and here let me select any of the product so i have selected like uh, long sleeve tea so let me click on edit so here as you can see that the option of uh, refund days and exchange days is coming like here the admin can easily enter the number of days like maximum number of days for uh, refund and exchange so here let's suppose i have selected like one day so let's suppose if the customer has placed the order uh, today then tomorrow will be the last day uh, that he can uh, request for refund and after that the number after that the limit will be reached and the customer will not be able to uh, refund that particular product and this is how the admin can select the maximum number of days for refund and exchange product wise and once he has done the changes so he can click on update now let us again go back to the backend settings and here we have also added one more functionality of rma reports so here uh, you need to go to this woocommerce section and here you can here you can select on rma report so here the admin can easily find the detailed report along with the analytics so here you can see the like order id of that particular and here you can see the request type and what is the request status just now and what is the order status for that particular uh, request and at what time the request date has been submitted and here the admin can easily select like if the admin wants to see only the uh, written request so here he can select and here he can decide the date and then he can click on filter so only written request will be shown here and if the admin wants to see more detailed report so he can click on analytics and here he can see the detailed report like uh, how many uh, total returns are there and what is the refunded amount and what are the exchange and what is the refunded amount for that and how many cancellations are there and what are the top return products that means he can analyze like what products are being written uh, frequently and what products are uh, frequently exchanged so that's how uh, the admin can easily plan the further strategies based on their return products and exchange product to minimize this uh, like to, to minimize the refund or exchange and here you can also see the uh, uh, refund return and cancellation by category like here this is clothing hoodie music uncategorized decor t-shirts so here you can easily find the cancellation exchange and return on the basis of category and if the admin wants to see the detailed category related data here the admin can easily filter on the basis of category like here you can see like i have selected t-shirts so all the uh, products related to this category are listed here and here here he here the admin can find the return order exchange order and cancelled order related to that category like i have selected clothing so all the particular products which lie in the category of clothing will be listed here and based on that the return order exchange order and cancelled order will be listed here so admin can easily see here and here you can find the user related data and here the admin can also find the return and exchange reasons 
like here you can see that damaged like how many return reasons are there and how many exchange reasons are there so here you can uh, see that so this is how we have provided this complete analysis uh, or report tab by which the admin can analyze all the return exchange and cancellation so this is how we have provided a detailed report and analytics uh, for which the admin can easily see return exchange and cancellation now let us again go back to the backend settings one more uh, feature is there like when i will go to this uh, refund exchange or cancel and let me scroll down so here we have also added one more thing so we have provided the default and clean slate that means we have uh, made some changes in the ui so you can choose as per your requirement so let me show you how it will look so let me go to shop page like for now this is the default template that you are seeing here but if i will select like this clean slate and let me click on save settings and now let me refresh this and you can easily analyze the difference so this is the uh, slate template as you can see that and the ui improvements have been done so you, you can easily uh, you can easily select if you want to uh, choose the default template or you can also select this template as per your requirements so both the templates are available for refund exchange or cancel so you can choose as per your requirements uh, like sms notification through twilio for refund exchange process for both admin and customer so now let us see how to enable the sms notification through twilio for refund and exchange process for both admin and customer so let us go to sms notification and here firstly you need to enable this to use sms notification for refund exchange and order messages then you need to get the api credentials so firstly you need to visit the twilio website and then you can enter the account sid and authentication token here and here you can enter the twilio number so as you can see that as i have entered it here and then uh, these are the further settings by which the admin can enable to receive sms notification for refund that means whatever the number he has entered here so for that particular numbers for all the refund and exchange and order messages from the customers will be received directly to the that particular number as a sms so here the admin can enter his number and he will receive all the notifications as a sms for refund exchange and order messages uh, from the customers next enable to send sms notification for refund and exchange and order messages for customers so if the admin wants to send sms notification for refund and exchange and order messages so from here this functionality can be enabled and now let me show you how uh, this will look for the customers so let me go to shop page so here as you can see that the option of uh, the option is coming as receive refund related updates over sms so here the customer can easily enter the number and then he will receive the, all the related updates over his mobile over his phone number via sms like if i will enable uh, disable this and let me click on save settings and when i will refresh this so as you can see that the option has disappeared uh, like uh, it was coming before to receive notification via sms for all the related for all refund related things and order messages so for so as you can see that the option has disappeared for the customers like he can enter the number uh, to receive notifications uh, for the uh, refund related process so from here this functionality can be enabled or disabled as per the requirements of the admin so this is how uh, you need to firstly get the account sid and authentication token and then you need to enter the account to your number and then you can configure the settings as i have already explained you now let us go to again uh, refund section and here we have also provided one more functionality like how the admin can easily select the refund and exchange for a specific time period so now let me explain you one more functionality like how the admin can easily allow the refund and exchange or cancel for a specific time period so for this you need to go to general settings tab and here you can decide the allow the request between so here the admin can easily decide uh, the request uh, policy based on time like if i will enable this and as you can see that for now the form is appearing but if i will set the time uh, like 2 am to 9 30 am and let me click on save settings and for now the time is 4 10 pm so when i will refresh this so the refund form will not be available uh, refund is not available right now so it is coming here because from the back end we have set the time based policy for refund and exchange and cancellation so this is how the admin can easily select the time if the admin wants to allow the request only 
for that particular time so these are some of the features which you can implement and enhance the functionality of refund exchange and cancel on your store this was all about the new features which were included in this plugin the links to the product have been mentioned in the video's description you can check and get all the details and if you are facing any queries regarding the plugin functionality, so you can mention your queries in the comment section. And if you are new to our channel, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video and press the bell notification icon to get all the latest updates related to our channel. Until the next video, stay connected with us. Thank you.